Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Internet's only game show, Who Wants to Get $5? I'm your host, Dallas, and with me today, we have another very special, very handsome, very beautiful guest, Mr. Alex Martins. Alex, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, Dallas. Thanks for having me on. Of course, man. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. Are you ready for I've been ready. For I've war? been ready, buddy. Let me tell you, we're about to put that readiness to the test here on Who Wants to Get $5. Before we start, let me take a minute to explain our lifelines and how they work. First, you have the phone a friend, where you call a friend of yours for help on a question, and they might be able to just help you out. Uh, next, we have the 100-0, where we narrow the answers to a question down from four to one. Then, the switcheroo, where if you're so stuck on a question, we'll just throw it in the trash and replace it with a brand new one. Lastly, is the phone an enemy, where we call someone who hates you, and they'll just yell at you, more or less. Question one, how old are you? A, six months. B, one, C, one and a half, or D, 18 months? Um, okay. So I could be, I could be one. Hmm. I'm kind of, I, I, okay, that's the one that's jumping out to me right now is that I'm one. But also like, um, I haven't really developed object permanence yet. So... I think my own memory is unreliable. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna lock in one and a half. Locking in one and a half? Locking it in, buddy. Well, my friend, you're off to a very great start. C is correct, you are one and a half. Oh, fuck Question yeah. two, does baby want milky? A, why, B, why, C, no, I don't want milky, you patronizing son of a bitch. Or D. Wah. All right. Here's the thing. Okay. I'm. Hey, I'm a sucker for Milky. Okay. I'm gonna just put that out there right now. Baby love Milky. Can't say I blame you. Yeah, the culture of like, you know, getting in a baby's face and asking it, "Hey, do you like this? Do you like that?" It does feel patronizing. But I'm just gonna go right out and say I'm a Milky loving boy. I'm going to lock in a why. A why and well, my friend, you are correct yet again. The answer yes. is a why. Yes. Steamrolling. My god. Wow. Just I love that it. confidence. Love that confidence. Hey, I'm here to win. I'm here to get $5, okay? So, let's just keep this show on the road. Moving right along, question 3. Is your diaper full? A why? B yes. C, wah, or D, no, I'm not a baby, I'm an adult. Hmm. Oh, man. I just gotta say, like, I was feeling really confident on the first two questions. The, the, like, we're really going up the bell curve of, of, of extreme difficulty right now. Like, uh, we're really scooping up there. I, I completely lost, to be c completely honest. Uh... I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pull my hundred zero on this one. Hundred zero? You sure? Hundred percent. All right. In that case, that narrows the potential answers down to D. No, I'm not a baby. I'm an adult. Uh. All right. D. And that's my final answer. You, my friend, just answered question three correctly. The answer was yes. D. No, I'm not a baby. I'm an adult. Yes. You are on a warpath, my goodness. Well, my friend, you are now up to $1.50. Did you want to keep going? Hey, <laughs> I want the full five, baby. Let's keep this, this this show going. All right, then. Question four. Okay, Mr. Adult, can I have 10 bucks? A, yes. B, of course. C, obviously, I'm an adult after all. And D, actually, I changed my mind. I am a baby. Um... All right, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to phone my enemy on this one, because uh, like to phone your enemy. Yes, I need to talk to him. All right, can do. We will be back here in one moment with someone who hates your guts. All right, and we have Alex's most hated enemy, Will, on the phone. Will, how you doing? I'm. Um, I'm doing great. Doing great. Glad to have you here, Alex. Um, did you want to read Will the question? Fuck you, Will. Where's my fucking Pokemon Fire Red? I loaned that shit to you fucking four years ago! 
and now you're just missing every fucking message I send to you. Fuck you, Will. Fuck you. Alex, Alex, you hate me because you ain't me. Dr. What? I don't even know who you are. I don't even know you. Where? Hey, where? where's your fucking head at? Hey, you didn't even have a Game Boy Advanced. You don't have a Game Boy Advance to play that shit. I know you don't. I know you I don't the have Nintendo it. Nintendo DS with the Game Boy. Uh -uh. Th that never happened. That's not a thing. It is. Fuck. It is? It, it is. Shit. Um. Okay, this is embarrassing. Like I said... You hate me, cause you ain't me. That's, you don't have a Nintendo DS, you and that's the end of it. Did you prepare that statement when they asked you to be the phone and enemy? You just like, I'm gonna have the you hate me, cause you ain't me in my back pocket, just ready to go. That's classic Will coming up with a cute little quip, a little rhyme, like rhymes hurt feelings, and you know what they do. Anyway. Since I've stunned you with my fucking anger, uh, I need to know, uh, do I give- Okay, they asked, can- can he at- <sighs> Sorry, I- I just- when I- when I picture your face, I just feel like strangling and- and- and smashing. Smashing with a brick over- over your head until, like, the- the- the liquids come out and- and- and you're dead and you're a, a dead body and you're, like, lifeless. So, so, I got you flustered, I can see that. I, I can see that. You understand me, then. We understand each other, in a way. <sighs> okay. Well, I need to know. <sighs> Do I- can this- can they have five- ten dollars? They asked, question four, okay, Mr. Adult, can I have ten bucks? The answers are A, yes, B, of course, C, obviously, I'm an adult after all, and D, actually, I changed my mind. I'm a baby. Do you know what the answer is? Ooh. Well, part of me wants to say... Part of me wants to say yes, because, you know, I can't turn down you losing money. But, uh, you know, I think it's funnier if you're a baby. So I'm going to say that you're going to pick uh, D uh, and say that you're a baby. All right, hang up. Get out of here. Go away. Mr. Martins. Yeah. Are you locking that in? Will's a smart guy. I'm locking that in. D, actually, I changed my mind. I'm a baby. Think about enemies. All an enemy is, is a friend waiting to happen. Because that is correct. Actually, yes. I changed my mind. I'm a baby is correct. And you are yeah. moving on to question number five. Fuck yeah. Moving right along. Question five. What is my Venmo? A, Dallas Quinlan. B, Dallas Quinlan. C, A and B. Or D, all of the above. Huh. A. Dallas Quinlan. That's my final answer. That's my Venmo. That's where my money goes. You're confident in that? You're locking that in? Dude, I've never felt so confident about an answer to a question in my entire life. Well, Alex, I have some bad news. If you didn't want to get $5, you wouldn't not be on the path to not get $5 because that was correct. Holy shit. I, wait, that means I got it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means, I was that, just that means working you got through it. what you were saying, and there's like a lot of. I think that had, that was like a quintuple negative. No, it was actually normal. Um, but either way, you were correct. Moving right along to question six. What are your thoughts now that you are up to two dollars and fifty cents? Oh, I'm just. Th I'm thinking. I'm just thinking. I wanna. I wanna ice coffee. I, I, I'm thinking I could get an ice coffee, but if I get that five dollars. I can get a donut with that coffee. So, you get I, a donut? I'm, even a Timbit. I'm thinking about that coffee just standing there all by itself alone. And then 
a, a, a wonderful like little little ten pack of Timbits on the side. Maybe some Tim Biebs. <laughs> now that the the, the the Justin Bieber brand uh, uh, Timbits are at Tim Hortons. And that they are. And this episode is in fact sponsored by Tim Hortons. You can get the Justin Bieber Tim Biebs now only five dollars Canadian. Eat it now, or you suck. Moving on to question six. What's up? A. Not much. Uh, is there more answers that could be possibly popping up? Uh, let me read you the question again. Uh, the okay, question yeah. was, question six. What's up? And your choices are, A. Not much. <laughs> this might be a little unconventional, but uh, I'm gonna have to go with B. Complete silence. You are going with B, and you're locking that in. Yep, I am. I have like th this is this feels like a like bait. You're saying I would bait you. Yeah, you would you would bait me like you would. You're the type you're of saying guy I don't have your best interest in mind. You you fuck with me constantly. You I, came I onto my show. What? Sorry. You Could... you did you came onto my show. Yeah. And you're saying that I don't have your best interest in mind. I, I you're you. Dude. Yes. Yeah. Because you know what it is? It's because you're always spamming this UK drill shit in my Discord. You. You're you're like Came telling me show. like hey uh, uh let's go meet at Tomato Town in Fortnite and I'm like okay obviously that's a joke and then you tell me oh actually I do play Fortnite so I don't know what the fuck is a bit with you You're saying you don't like UK Drill are UK Drill is fire Are you locking it in Pardon Are you locking your answer You know what for you A not much It's, it's, it's correct. What's that? It's correct. And we are on to question seven. Have you seen my keys? I can't find them. A. No, I haven't seen them. B. Yes, they're on the table. C. Yes, they're on your desk. Or D. Yes, they're in your pocket. Hmm. Hey, <laughs> we're always losing our keys, right? Especially those of us with uh, ADHD. It's just a just a, a part of life at this point. <laughs> Anyone else have ADHD? Fucking let me know if you relate in the comments. Oh my. Any, uh, any other uh, mental uh, mental illness in the chat? Um, yeah, I got. Uh, it's a real toss up. It could be anywhere at this point. Because like it's it's at this like what's 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 the box with the dead cat? Uh, uh the dead cat box. Yeah, no, it's like the the cat. It could be dead or alive. I think it's the you're thinking of Dead or Alive the like video game series. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, anyway, so it's kind of like that where like I haven't seen them, but I have seen them in these spots. You know what I'm saying with the dead cat box? I'm gonna shout Shadoinger's box. I think it's Shadoinger's box that that dead cat is in. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna need. Uh... You're saying my keys are in a box? No. Uh, I don't think you're understanding the reference to, to Schrodinger's, Sch Schrodinger's box here with the dead cat. So you're saying that there's something to do with my cat and, and I, mean, I have cats. I don't know why you're bringing that up. Forget the cat thing. Your cat is not in a box. Your keys are not in a box. It is a philosophical reference uh, to whether like so something could be in a if you don't look inside of a box, you don't know what's really in there. Okay, but you're saying my keys are in there. Your box? Your keys aren't in a box! Look, I don't mean to keep getting riled up at you, but you're you're testing me every single question. I don't like being fucked with. So with that, I'm gonna have to call, I'm gonna have to phone a friend. Phoning a friend? Yes, I would like to get uh, my buddy Trent on the line. Well, in that case, we'll be right back with Trent. And we are back with Trent. Trent, how you doing today? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. Hi, What's Trent. going on? Hi, Trent. 
Alex. Hi, Alex. Hey, I love dude. you. You're my friend. I love you. Hi. I love you too, Hi. man. And you're my friend. Yes. You guys are friends. Yes. Hey, going away. See, way that back. last guy oh, was yeah, an enemy friends, of yours. Dude. You hate him. Oh, sorry. What's What are you saying? The, yes. the last guy that you had sorry, on Dallas, will... Sorry, uh, Continue with what you were saying. I, sorry that we guy... Over with you. That guy... Um, that guy, Will, he was your enemy, so you hate him. Trent is your friend. You like him. Yes. Uh, we like each I other. Hate, like both. I hate Will, and I want to kill him with a rock. All right, okay. Well, uh, Alex, you wanted to read your friend this question. Ah, yeah. Okay, Trent. So, question seven. Uh, I'm going for, like... I'm going for three fifty right now. $3.50. Oh my uh, god. Yeah. It's Are funny. you on a game show? What is this? Yeah. No. Oh. Wait, they didn't tell you what they were logging your phone number for? No, yeah, I just thought this was for fun. I mean, it is fun, but... Okay, forget that. It's fun. Full uh, stop, it's very fun. Yes. Uh, the The question is, have you seen my keys? Not my keys, uh, Dallas's keys, okay? Dallas's keys? Yes, have you seen Dallas's keys? He can't find them. Oh, man, um... Okay, but I let me just read you the answers them. for. Oh, okay. Oh, you... That's actually one of the options, but I'll read the rest to you just in case. So, A is you haven't seen them. B is, yes, they're on the table. C, yes, they're on your desk, which I don't know the fucking difference. D, yes, they're in your pocket. Huh. So, table, desk, or pocket, or you haven't seen them. When it says your, does that mean Dallas's or, or yours like yours, Alex's? Or mine? Well, I guess... Huh. <coughs> Dallas, can you clear it up? Yeah, Dallas, can we ask Please? you a question? Alex, you want clarification? Yes. Yes. Too bad, this is a game show. Get your head in the game. The options are A, no, I haven't seen them. B, yes, they're on the table. C, yes, they're on your desk. Or D, yes, they're in your pocket. Well, fuck. I mean, they're definitely not as in his pocket. Like he would know if, that they're there. Yeah, he would feel mm -hmm. it. They get all like hot and spiky when they're in your pocket. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know. I don't really know Dallas's like situation, but I feel like he probably has a couple different tables. So I don't think it's. I don't think it's uh, B or D. Um, Do you think I he has like a desk though? I th yeah. You know, I know he has a desk. I think it's the desk one. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Trent. I'm 100% confident he has a desk. All right. Thank you very much, Trent. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later, and we'll, we'll snuggle and cuddle and kiss tonight. Yeah, well, we're going to do a lot of friend stuff later tonight. I love you I love you being your friend. I love being your friend, and I love you so much, and I can't wait to give you a big hug. What's your answer? So, C. Yes, they're on your desk. And you're locking that in? Final answer. Trent knows everything. Yes, they are on my desk. I just looked. Thank you so much because I couldn't find them. Question 8. What year was Harvard University founded? A. 1830 B. 1768 C. 1510 or D. 1636 How am I supposed to know that? This is a game show. That's... So, game shows are just inherently out to fuck the contestants? No. Okay. I will remind you, you do have multiple lifelines left. And by I... multiple, I mean one, the switcheroo. I'm going to use my switcheroo. All right, switching that question with the new one. Circling back, what is my Venmo? A, Dallas Quinlan. B, Dallas Quinlan. C, A and B, or D, all of the above. Oh, my God. That, that was the best use of a lifeline I've ever used because... I would love to reiterate to the audience that my Venmo is at Dallas-Quinlan. And if you want to send me money, send all your money there. Like, life ruin. I'm a drainer. Life ruining amounts of money. Send them to at Dallas-Quinlan. A, locking it in, final answer. Let's get to question nine. Question nine, indeed. Question nine. Who is the coldest in this drill team? A. Styx B. Grizzy C. Sykes or D. M24 Oh, man. <laughs> Dude. Hey, there are, there's a lot of cold boys in this drill team. For sure. But 
you know, who sticks out as the coldest is not Styx, which you'd think, but uh, but actually Grizzy. He goes haul. He goes hard, actually. Uh, his his rhymes are fire. Um, he uh, he's just excellent, and he is from a very good conglomerate of of rapping boys. So I'm gonna say Grizzy. Final answer. Before you lock that in, can I ask you a personal question? Of course. This is a game show, after all. You know, there's a lot of options here, right? And you are not spoiled for choice. Do you have a personal favorite, Grizzy Bar? Yes. You're right, that is Grizzy's best bar. And you, my friend, are moving on to question 10. <laughs> question 10. Finish the line. She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love blank. A, my friends. B, strife and war. C, my bed and my mama, I'm sorry. Or D, Millie Bobby Brown. I think this is a bit of a trick question, to be completely honest with you. And I'll tell you what my reasoning. I know you would have me think it's my bed and my mama, I'm sorry, because that is the lyric. But... The lines that we read between of his true intentions leads me to Millie Bobby Brown, the uh, the the underage person that he has interest in. Uh, and hey, comment on how fucked up that is. What I'm saying is D. Final answer. It could because that was his true intention the entire time. You dirty dog. You, my friend, have just won five whole yes! dollars. How are you feeling? Yes! Dude, I'm gonna get me some Tim Beebs and a nice iced coffee to wash them down. Tim Beebs and a nice iced coffee. That is the kind of thing that in this country, you too can accomplish on Who Wants to Get Five Dollars. We will see you next time. Bye, everyone. <laughs>